This is how I made a water bar that's V-shaped and has been keeping the water from eroding the driveway for about four years now. There's hardly any maintenance with it because all it really is is just a buildup on the right side and then a recess on the lower side. I placed these about 55 feet apart so that there's not a big watershed that causes the uh, erosion on the drive. It doesn't reduce it a hundred percent but it does stop like large washouts from taking place. This one's about due to maybe be scooped out a little bit but it's a smaller one. No fancy drains, no fancy uh, contraptions to make it work. It just simply works. Now you do have to be careful when you drive over it that you know when you're going up a hill how to hit it so that you don't spin the tires and bounce but I really don't mind that because it just keeps working. So that's how I made my simple drive solution to take care of washed out gravel and I haven't had to redo this drive in four years. Take care. Hope this helped you come up with an idea that works. This is a water bar that I put in after the loggers logged this hill. I took small oaks that were dead and I cut them and I dug holes or a trench and then I laid them in the trench and then I dug in front of it and piled that dirt up on there and it directed the water to the easiest location where it wouldn't create any erosion. This is about 30 degrees to the incline and it's been in there for five years now. Put some rocks over there to stabilize it. Works perfect. Got a lot of saplings coming up and I didn't lose a lot of corrosion. Here's the next one. This one goes in the other direction, dumps right into where this tree is. Then you go down a little bit further and there's another one. These are oak and they're still in there after five years. This is for a trail that's really not used. However, some of my trails that I, I do use, I've done this on, as long as I can get over it, or else just make a mound out of dirt. But these help hold it. And the reason I had to do this is because the loggers came down at like a 60 degree angle. And all they were causing was more washout. They were working somewhat, but they were just washing a trench out. See, right there's one right there. You can barely see it. But it goes right there, all the way down. So anyways, I was able to save this hill from being completely washed out because when the loggers went over with equipment, it was washing out down to the bedrock and you could see some of the bedrock at the top. This method seems to work and I haven't had to touch it since. And the soil seems to be retained. So that was one of the first things I wanted to do when we got, when we, you know, after they logged it, because they really don't take too much care in doing that properly at times, unless they're trained. And it was the DNR that told me that they did it incorrectly. Anyway, that's how I did it, and uh, it may work for you. Take care. This is a water bar placed probably more than 45 degrees, and it needs to be about 35 degrees or so, or 30 degrees that the loggers put in and they came in and they just took their equipment went right along a tree and the result is a dead red oak tree